How's it going, Native fans? Welcome back for another Two Minute Tuesday. In today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to be doing something a little different than our normal Two Minute Tuesdays. We're going to be talking about the RMA procedure as well as how to submit an RMA for any Ada Imaging product. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So if you're experiencing any problems with our products, we here at Ada guarantee all our products with a two year warranty after date of purchase. But there's a couple things you need to know. Like any standard warranty, this does not apply to the products if they are misused, neglected, accidentally damaged, opened, installed improperly, operated outside its intended use, or anything along those lines. Any product also repaired by any parties other than Ada or its authorized agents will be voided as well. Also remember that Ada reserves the right to refuse any warranty under our discretion. But now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the procedure. First thing to do is assess the problem. Some common problems can be solved by checking indicators on our POV cameras like HDMI LEDs or power LEDs to indicate if there's anything wrong. Also try switching cables if the indicator is not on. And if you have multiple ADA cameras, try switching breakout cables per camera as they are universal. If you have any problems like no PDZ movement and flickering images, usually these can be fixed by a factory reset. If you're not getting an image, try uploading the firmware and seeing if flashing the firmware will reload the camera and give you an image. 80% of the time, it will fix the problem and you won't need to go through the RMA process. But if all of this fails, then go ahead and give us a call on our support line located on our website. Our technicians will assist you one last time and if they deem that your camera is faulty, they will request you to send an email to rma at adaimaging.com. From there, our RMA team will ask you for proof of purchase as well as a form to fill out. You can also get the request form on our website at adaimaging.com slash returns. Once you fill it out, send it back to rma at adaimaging.com and please wait for an RMA number from our team. Once your RMA number is authorized, it will be your responsibility to ship the camera back with all its parts and cables. Failure to do so will result in the replacements of those parts only received. So whatever you ship here is what you're going to get back. Please securely package the products for transit and send it to our location located on the RMA form. The authorization email from our RMA team will also have the address to ship to. Once the RMA has been received, please expect up to five business days turnaround max, but we usually ship it same day or the following day. You will not have to cover shipping back to your location as we will provide that. You will also get a tracking number of the package being sent to you as well as a signature required process. So please make sure that someone is there to sign for your return. And it's as easy as that. I hope the RMA process got a little bit easier for you, but if you do have any questions, you can give us a call during our normal operating hours. Well, other than that, if you did enjoy this content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. That way you won't miss anything ADA related. With that said, I hope you had a great 4th of July weekend, and have a good day.